Welcome back. Why did you open this video and try to watch it? Of course, because of your curiosity. Nice. Have you ever thought that if someone dies then their cell phone will be passed on to those closest to them? But the problem is that the inherited person does not know the lock pattern of the cell phone. And it comes to your mind that we can unlock the phone with the finger of the dead person. But did you know that unlocking the phone by using the fingerprint of someone who has died, it can't be done? Yeah, of course it can't be done, but why? Let's get to know about the sophistication of technology now, one of which is technology that is always with us almost all the time. What's that? Yeah, right, it's a fork. What do you mean, fork? What is wrong? It's just a fork. Fork, fork, fork. Well, I mean it's cell phone. Today's cell phones are increasingly sophisticated, including the lock system. Now, we don't just play with patterns and passwords because some cell phones are equipped with a fingerprint scanner feature or fingerprint as a locking system. Previously, we could only find this feature on expensive phones. But now, more and more cheap phones that provide this feature. To open this locking system, you must use the owner's fingerprint. So, the question is, if he's dead, can his fingerprint still be used to unlock the phone? Turns out, you can't. According to Anil Jain, professor of computer science at the University of Michigan, he said, if the person who had the cell phone died, his fingerprints could no longer be used to unlock it. This news was reported by Levescence. Why cannot? Because it was caused by the fork. <laughs> because in most smartphones, fingerprint identification works through electrical conduction from the human body to the device, said Jine. All human bodies contain electricity. Even at very low frequencies, the electricity that flows in the human body is what you can then use to open the fingerprint scanner. When the finger touches the scanner, the sensor will recognize the fingerprint pattern. With the help of natural electricity in the body, the phone will be unlocked, continued Jai. It is different with people who have died. When he is dead, the electricity in his body will automatically turn off. Since there is no more electricity in his body, the finger of the owner of the cell phone can no longer be used to open the lock. This also applies if you use a cut finger to unlock the phone. The status of the finger is dead, so there is no more electricity and the phone can't be opened. Therefore, phones that have a fingerprint scanner feature usually provide a choice of a maximum of five backup fingerprints not set for all your fingers, but for the fingers of other trusted people like family members. The goal, just in case if you're dead, the phone can still be opened and used, right? I don't think so, because the right one is only the fork, 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 fork. 